Well, hello and welcome to the OG Music Talk. I hope everybody who's watching this is doing okay. You're not having themselves an amazing Easter weekend. Now, with that being said, let's get straight to the music news. Well, there's a lot of music that came out this week in the SA hip hop scene, the music of which I will let you know of in a bit. But firstly, I would like to start off by addressing this alleged issue of Intabayazi Dubai not getting paid his royalties for the work he put in on Imalieningi by Big Zulu. Well, Intabayazi Dubai took to his Facebook to express how dissatisfied he is with the amount of royalties he's getting paid considering how big of a song in Mali and Ingi is in a post that reads like this and I quote I eco into Shung Jungo Bugum Julugo Akufun Zinin Tota Egbin Wenu Shupega. I'm sorry but I hate features with all my heart because you have to act like we're all okay while only an individual is fuck features hashtag Mali and Ingi. Well, the brother media quite clear that he's feeling a certain type of way right now and it has everything to do with this feature on Mali and Ingi. Well, we'll never really get to know how much the brother got paid in terms of royalties because the record label has signed under, which is Ambitious Entertainment, owes 25% masters of the whole song. Well, Ambitious Entertainment never really got to disclose how much they paid the brother in terms of royalties out of the 25% they own of Imali and Ingi, but clearly, it's not enough because the brother is out here feeling a certain type of way. Well, this issue right here created a lot of controversy on both Facebook and Twitter to an extent where Ingabi Records had to release a statement to clarify this whole thing and the statement reads like this. And I quote, As Ingabi Records, we would like to declare that all due diligence, agreements, splits and contracts pertaining Malieningi was handled with the label that Intabayase Dubai is signed to, which is Ambitious Entertainment. This was done in the early stages of the song being released. A music rights agreement was signed between both parties, Ingabi Records and and ambitious entertainment, including the publishing document. All financial proceeds that the record has made in relation to Intabayasi Dubai shares were paid directly to his record label by the distributing and authorized companies. Therefore, Big Zulu has fulfilled all his obligations to Intabayasi Dubai and his record label. Claims made by Intabayasi Dubai pertaining non payment are not associated with Inkabi Records and Big Zulu. Thank you, Inkabi Records. Well, from my point of view, it seems like Inkabi Records and Big Zulu have them read by both Intabayase Dubai and Ambitious Entertainment. The only thing I believe that's left to be done here is for Ambitious Entertainment to do right by one of their own. Moving on to new music news, well J. Jody recently came out with two singles titled Be Myself and On Time. You guys go check the two singles out and let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Moving on to another topic, Wolji well, Hood recently came out with an album titled Deep State and I do have to say that's one of the hardest hitting albums I ever heard coming out of South Africa and I do have to say again, South African hip hop is in safe hands. Moving on to another topic, well Cassie PG recently came out with a single titled All of Me featuring Kane Cruz and the song is amazing. Moving on to our final topic of the day, William Las KRM came out with an EP titled For My Uncles, which I'm yet to listen to. And that has become the end of our today episode. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell on so that you don't miss another episode. And thank you for tuning in to the OG Music Talk.